Yeah, and greetings, folks. Well, we are in a cooler pattern, and the reason is an infamous omega block. In meteorology, what that means is we have a low pressure in the east, high pressure developing in the nation's midsection, and a low pressure in California, but these lows are squeezed off, and the high pressure is too. When we are in an omega block pattern, we have the same weather for about four or five days. So we are going into a chilly pattern and the omega block is starting to form. On the water vapor imagery, you see the counterclockwise swirl across the Great Lakes, a prolific ridge here across the Rockies, and another low digging into California. So what we can expect is a cooler temperature regime. Rain will change to snow early next week. We do have a couple of spits of showers to the west, so what we are going to see through the evening is Rain lasting about five or 10 minutes, a break for about an hour or two, and then more showers and the breeze picks up out of the northwest. We have the low pressure center here across the coast lifting north, but this low across the Great Lakes has more moisture with it. It also has the cooler temperatures. It is 42 in Chicago, but we have 30s farther north in the upper Great Lakes. That cold air is gonna rotate in behind that area of low pressure over the next several days. Meanwhile, the plains will stay on the mild side and the second storm system coming into the west, well, that's going to be cut off from the main flow too. You probably need the heater in Marlington. It's 50 degrees, 50 in Union, 51 degrees right now in Pipe Stem, only 48 in Bluefield. As you go to work tomorrow, the same pattern we are seeing today, except temperatures are going to be even colder. And get this, the coldest air with this storm system is coming Tuesday into Wednesday. It's going to produce enough snow that along the Route 219 corridor, you'll be shoveling snow north of Marlington by Wednesday morning, believe it or not. And then finally, we start to see this low pressure that's pinched from the main flow of the jet stream move off towards the east later in the week. We finally get some sunshine in here. So winter has returned to southern West Virginia. Take a look at the wind chill forecast. This is Tuesday morning at 11 a.m. Yeah, so we're talking close to lunchtime. It's going to feel like 20 in Snowshoe, 30 in Beckley, 35 degrees in Hinton. So make sure you have multiple layers. Here's the snow forecast. Even though I just mentioned areas north of Marlington, five to nine inches of snow in the highest elevations, look at the rest of the area. If you live above 2,700 feet like Sandstone Mountain along I-64, you're going to see a coating to a half of an inch of snow. The lower elevations will see snow flurries, but no snow accumulation. So the low down is have the heat on full throttle, a late season snow in our forecast, and the sunshine returns early next week. <laughs> Car wash forecast. I laugh at that because there's no opportunity. It's going to be poor this week because we have lots of clouds, occasional showers, and definitely don't wax the car. You had your chance earlier in the month of April and we had lots of sunshine. So we start the month of May tomorrow, the high 45 degrees. We have the stretch of mid 40s with that omega block pattern all the way through Wednesday. Overnight lows in the 30s. We'll have some frost in here Wednesday night and Thursday night. Friday is Cinco de Mayo. We'll be celebrating with just a 30% chance of a sprinkle, 58 degrees. And then look at the temperatures rebounding next weekend. We're finally breaking out of our seven day streak where it rains every weekend. Next weekend looks beautiful across the region as this block pattern finally ends temperatures in the upper 60s.